Are you tired of Fortnite lagging, stuttering, and running super slow on your PC? Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how I boosted my FPS to over 240 plus, even on a low-end or budget computer. We'll go step-by-step -step through simple settings, unlocking your CPU and GPU power, and turning off Windows features that lower your FPS. So let's jump straight into it. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power, throttling in Windows to make Fortnite run better. Alright guys, let's kick things off with one of the most important settings that many people don't even know about. It makes your CPU run slower, causes lag spikes, and can even drop your FPS during fights. So, let's fix it. First, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the small run box. Inside that box, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. This will open something called the Local Group Policy Editor, which allows us to change some advanced system performance settings that aren't normally visible. On the left side of this window, click through these folders one by one. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Then scroll down until you see a folder named Power Management and click on it. Now on the right hand side, you'll see several options. Look for Power Throttling Settings and double click it. Inside that, double click the option that says Turn Off Power Throttling. A new smaller window will appear. Choose Enabled, then click Apply and OK to save your changes. Once you're done, close everything. This completely disables power throttling, allowing your CPU to run at full performance all the time. It works on both Windows 10 and 11, so don't worry about which version you're using. Step 2. Unlock all CPU cores to boost Fortnite performance. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Next, we're going to make sure your CPU, basically the brain of your computer, is using all of its power to make Fortnite run at its absolute best. We'll use a free tool called Park Control for this step. Start by downloading and installing Park Control on your PC, then open it. Once you're in, you'll see several options and sliders. At the top, select the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan is designed to keep your CPU running at full strength 24-7. Now change the following settings one by one. Parking AC. Set to 100% and turn it off. Parking DC. Set to 100% and turn it off. Frequency scaling AC. Set to 100% and turn it off. Frequency scaling DC. Set to 100% and turn it off. Then scroll down and find Bitsum Dynamic Boost. Turn this setting on. What this does is it temporarily turns off unused CPU cores when your PC is idle but instantly reactivates them when you launch Fortnite or any heavy game. That way your CPU always delivers maximum performance when you actually need it. Next, open your Windows power options and make sure Bitsum Highest Performance is selected as your active plan. Double check that CPU parking and frequency scaling are both set to 100% for AC, plugged in, and DC, battery. After that, click Make Active and Apply to save everything. Once you're done, your CPU will now run at full power whenever Fortnite is open, giving you faster building, better response time, and smoother gameplay, even if you're playing on an older or low-spec computer. Step 3. Use NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. To boost Fortnite FPS if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, this step is a total game changer. We'll use a free tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It lets you change advanced graphics settings that aren't available in the regular NVIDIA control panel. By tweaking a few hidden options, we can increase your FPS and reduce input delay. Once you open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, type Fortnite in the search bar at the top to load your Fortnite profile. If you already have a custom settings file, load it here. Otherwise, we'll set it up manually. Go to the anti-aliasing section first and find Transparency Super Sampling. Set this to 0x Tetra 0 triple zero eight. This reduces GPU workload while keeping your visuals clear. Then scroll down to the texture filtering section and make these changes. Turn on driver controlled LOD so your GPU automatically adjusts level of detail scaling. Set both LOD bias DX and LOD bias OGL to plus three for better texture balance. Change negative LOD bias to clamp. Set texture filtering quality to high quality for the best textures without lag. Finally, find power management mode and set it to optimal performance. This makes your GPU stay at its best clock speed the entire time you're gaming, preventing frame drops or sudden slowdowns. Once all of that's done, click Apply Changes. These tweaks will lighten your GPU's load, remove unnecessary visual effects, and make Fortnite feel faster and more responsive, especially if you're on a lower-end system or using a mid-range graphics card. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. 
Once it's installed, open the GearUp Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and GearUp will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the end tab, where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let GearUp automatically select the best option. I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from GearUp Booster. This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step four, use MSI Utility to improve hardware performance for Fortnite. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now let's make your hardware talk to Windows more efficiently using a small but powerful app called MSI Utility V3. This tool helps your graphics card and CPU communicate faster, reducing input delay and improving overall performance. After downloading MSI Utility version 3, open it. There's no need to install it. You'll see a list of your PC components. Find your GPU graphics card in the list, check the MSI box next to it, and then set interrupt priority to high. If you have an integrated GPU, like Intel UHD or Iris Graphics, repeat the same step. Check the MSI box and set the priority to high. Once everything looks good, click apply and then close the program. What this does is tell Windows to prioritize your graphics card when communicating with the system. That means less stuttering, smoother aiming, and more stable frame pacing, especially in build fights, fast edits, or big team battles. You'll immediately feel Fortnite becoming smoother and more consistent overall. Step 5. Boost Windows Performance Using Chris Titus Tech Utility, you can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. While that your CPU and GPU are fully optimized, it's time to clean up Windows itself. For this, we'll use a really powerful tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility, which helps remove unnecessary background apps and services that steal performance from your games. Go to your FPS Boost Pack folder and open it. Inside, you'll find a text file that contains a few lines of code, Copy everything from that file. Now click on the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as administrator. This step is super important. Paste the code you copied into PowerShell and press Enter. This will launch the Chris Titus Tech Utility window. Once you're inside, go to the Tweaks tab. You'll see two main options, Minimal and Standard. The Minimal option removes just a few unnecessary features, while Standard goes deeper and removes more background tasks for even better performance. Choose whichever one fits your preference. The tool automatically creates a restore point before making changes, so you can easily undo them if needed. After choosing your mode, click Run Tweaks, wait for it to finish, and close the app. These optimizations will free up RAM, reduce CPU load, and make Windows run faster, giving Fortnite more system resources and smoother gameplay overall. Step 6. Turn off HPT to stop stuttering and FPS drops. Finally, let's disable something called HPT, High Precision Event Timer. To disable it, right-click your Start menu and select Device Manager. Scroll down and expand System Devices, then find High Precision Event Timer HPET, in the list. Once you see it, right-click it and select Disable. That's it! By turning off HPET, Windows will stop using this outdated timer system, and you'll notice smoother animations, more stable FPS, and faster input response while playing Fortnite. And that's it for today's full Fortnite FPS optimization guide. If this helped make your game smoother and more responsive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below your new FPS. See you in the next one.